Welcome to the basics of searching for family photographs on the Library of Congress. So the Library of Congress website address is loc.gov. And while you're on it, you see that you can search everything, but maybe you just want to search pictures. So you come down here to photos, prints, and drawings. Now let's search for Taylor family. You don't need to do anything special to do that search. And look what comes up all these different Taylor families. Now, none of them are my Taylor family, but they might be your Taylor family. Look over on the left hand side where you can refine your results. You can see only the ones that are available online or all items. These are items that you might want to request uh, from the Library of Congress. And then it gives you the format. It's a photo print or drawing. Some of them are audio recordings because that comes up under this search as well. Uh, books and printed material, there are two. Manuscripts, two. Film and video, one. Online format, image, PDF, or compressed data. Now here's the interesting one. So oftentimes when I'm doing searching, I want to search within certain date parameters. So I can do that. So you'll notice just by scanning this that most of the images were taken between 1900 and 1999. But suppose you just wanted to see Taylor family images from 1800 to 1899. So obviously these are not all photographs. And then you can even narrow by location. And if you click this more locations, it'll give you locations for lots of places where you can search whether or not these images are part of larger collections like the American Folklife Center, the American Memory Project, working in Patterson, the Civil War, Italian Americans in the West, and then who contributed them. Now under subjects, these are general subjects, but if you were to click more subjects, you can get specific people. Now, and then English language and then available online or available at the Library of Congress. Now, you can also say you want to search for a particular person. So I've already done a search. So I know that if you just search Taylor, just Taylor, you end up with so many more uh, hits. So sometimes it's better to search generally and then specifically or vice versa. But you can see that now available online are 6,147 items. And again, you can use this refine your results on the left hand side to narrow your search. You don't have to do anything else to narrow your search. And then it shows you the contributors. Some of these are people, uh, what the subjects are, photographs, again, language, multiple languages, and which ones are available online and available at the Library of Congress. So there's a way to refine your search that way too. And you can pick as many of these uh, refining tips as, uh, that you want to. So let's go to say Hannes Taylor because I know I searched him already and you can see that there are many Hannes Taylors. Same person. And if you were to click this link then it tells you more about the image. This tells you it's a JPEG. These are downloadable if this appears and you have a variety of formats that you can download. It gives you the basic information, the cataloging record, the title, the contributors' names, created and published, the genre, all of that, negative number assigned by the library, tells you whether or not there are rights, meaning whether or not you can publish it or not, or use it or not. All of that is there. Now over here on the right, it tells you that this particular image is a format. This is the basic details. Photo, print, or drawing, that's the major collection that it's in, that it was taken in a, somewhere around 1873 to circa 1916. Do not necessarily believe these dates. There's a lot of errors in this catalog. And then subjects, it's the glass negative collection or the portrait photograph collection. So that's a basic thing on how to search for family images in the Library of Congress. I hope this helps.